crafty friends welcome back to my channel jen castell here with another project for scrap diva designs i will show you all of her information right here and link everything in the description box today i am using the crayon box die but i came up with this really fun project that i absolutely love it actually sits like this but i wanted to give you a better interior uh better view of what I created here. But this is just a hexagon box. Opens up, great for gift giving during the holidays. It'd be perfect for some cookies or some happy mail. I use the Minte Merry Little Christmas collection. It's brand new. I absolutely love this collection. I love the pinks, the blues, the reds. Super, super fun. I mean, look at this gorgeous paper. I love how this turned out. And I'm always looking for new ways to use my dies. We're all trying to stretch our, our money a little further nowadays. I'm going to insert some pictures of the actual crayon box that some of the other design team members have created. I have not actually completed the crayon box myself. This is the sides of the box. And then if you flip over, these are your end pieces here. And then because it's a crayon, uh, it's meant to have like a pyramid shaped top. So the hexagon box is really easy to make and I'm going to do a little tutorial for you. A couple you. simple modifications. It's not going to be hard at all. I've already pre-cut my pieces. So you're going to need three of these, and this is gonna form this part of the box here. You're going to need six of these to cover, and I'm gonna use this for the outside of my box. These measure two by six and one eighth, and that'll leave an eighth of an inch um, border on all sides. I did the same for the interior of the box as well. And then for these hexagon sides, you are going to need four of these pieces. And then there is an extra piece that has a stitched portion right here. And you're going to need eight of these. You're also going to want to take a three quarter inch strip of paper. And then you're just gonna score down the center and make sure to give all of your creases a nice fold. I did cut a little extra piece. This measures five by three quarters. And once again, I just um, scored down the center and made sure that I did a good crease. And I've already went through and creased these. What I am going to do is add the front of the box, the pattern papers right now. All right, so I've added all my pattern papers and now I'm just going to glue the sides together as well. So add your tab and then make sure it's lined up. Now that you have all of your tabs together, you're gonna flip this over and add it along the edge. What I did was stopped it at the second portion and then I just added this one on. So just kind of line up. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I hate to measure. So I usually just do something like that and cut it off and then add your tab like that. Just cut a little bit off there to add a little wiggle room. I'm gonna do the same over here. And then lining up your box, you're just gonna wanna cut where the creases are.
last piece. And you're gonna add it on. This time I am going to cut before. Now you've created the exact same thing that you have up here on this side. I am gonna go through and burnish a little just to make sure everything is nice and glued. Now we're gonna focus on adding our end pieces. All right, so I've use the pattern paper and covered four of these. These are all the outside of my box. I'm going to start the box at the top open flap. You want this to be able to tuck into the bottom here, as you can see in the original. So I am going to add my first piece. The box is going to sit like this, so I am going to add it to the second tab first. And you can do the exact same thing with this one here. Now I'm going to start this one here and I'm actually going to put this upside down. Well, what looks upside down because it's going to sit at a different angle. It's actually going to sit right side up like that. And once again, I'm going to bring this one over here. It's just a matter of gluing your tabs. So we have the top portion of the box completed. Now we're going to switch over to this side and start gluing these tabs down. As you can just see, I've used a little glue and then I'm gonna bring this up like so. So we have our box together, really simple to make. I added these extra sides. You could probably do it without the extra sides, but I really do like the weight that it gives to the top of the box so that it sits really nicely when it's all closed up. So now it's just a matter of putting your interior pieces on. And when I come back, I will show you the finished product. So I finished my box here. I've just added the interior pieces as well as uh, your hexagon sides on the interior. It closes like that, sits quite nicely, super fun, an easy project, great for some gift giving at the holidays. So thank you for watching and don't forget to use my coupon code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase at the store. I will link everything in the description box. Don't forget to step on over and see some of the other amazing projects that the design team members are sharing for her. They are just cranking out some of the best stuff lately. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next crafty video. Bye.